Hi everybody, Scott Kelby here for Shutterbug Magazine, and I've got a tip for all you Lightroom lovers out there. This tip is on the power of before and afters inside a Lightroom. Lightroom has some of the best before and after capabilities, and some of them are hidden, so I wanna go through them real quick with you. The first and most obvious one is after you've made some adjustments and you wanna see a quick before, just press the backslash key on your keyboard. Just press it and you'll even see the word before appear. Look up there in the right hand corner, there it is, it actually says before. And, and that's nice, but every program in the world of course gives you a before and after if you're gonna be editing an image. It's the next set of before and afters I think are so awesome. Press the letter Y and now it gives you a side by side before and after. So you press Y, it goes back to a regular view and then press Y again and you get this before and after side by side. Now, if you look over here at the bottom, you'll see the word before and after in this gray bar. Now, if you look down there and don't see the gray bar at all, that's the little toolbar, just press the letter T and it'll come popping back up. T hides it, T brings it back again. Now, you'll notice over here on the side, there are two little Ys beside each other right there. So if you click on those, it's going to cycle through different before and after. So we looked at a side by side. Now let's do split view. So it's the same image split to a before and after. You can do a top and bottom before and after if you click again. And then you can do a top and bottom split screen. And it's just by toggling back through those. And then when you get back to the end, you'll see the before and after left and right like that. And to return to your regular view, you can just press the letter Y and it takes you back to the regular view. I particularly love the side-by-side -side version. Every time you look on the web and you see a before and after, it's always before on the left, after on the right. I love being able to see that. I'm gonna give you one more tip. After you're in that side-by-side -side before view, try this. Press Shift Tab. Shift and the Tab key. It's going to hide all of the side panels, the bottom panel and the top panel, and it's just gonna give you a clean look and your image right there. To get back out of that, press Shift Tab and all the panels come back. Press the letter Y and you're back ready to edit. Okay, if you're into Lightroom, and I know that you are, I want you to check out the Kelby One Pro plan. So besides me showing you tips here on Shutterbug, I'm also the editor of Lightroom Magazine. It's published 10 times a year for members of the Kelby One Pro plan. Now, members of the Kelby One Pro plan also have an online help desk for getting their Lightroom questions answered by absolute Lightroom gurus and experts. There's a whole community built around teaching you Lightroom. There's over 51 full-length Lightroom courses literally on every topic that you can think of. I'd love to have you check it out. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll catch you next time.